All right, just picked up the adult pair of shoes. Um, I'm excited because this is my real size and um, the coloring looks pretty much on point. Looks like they pretty much got rid of all of the defective colors that they were saying they had. Um, I see those probably just going to the outlets to be honest with you, which I think would totally be worth it copying because I don't think it's that big of a difference. Um, especially if you're able to get it like marked down, which is gonna be a steal in my opinion. <laughs> Watch the defective Carmines become the more popular version of the two. I would die. Uh, anyways, on my way back home to start pumping out the styling portion for this video. It's a chilly one here in NYC today. It's feeling like it's in the teens. Sorry about the bumpiness. I hope it's not making you guys motion sick like it is me right now. All right, so I will catch you guys later. What's up and welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy it, feel free to leave me comments down below as well as hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. As well as check that join button because we have a ton of new membership perks I don't want you guys to overlook because those membership perks are amazing. So be sure to hit that join button to check those out as well as check out our new merch store, you guys. We've got a lot going on there that I would love for you to see. All right. Thank you so much for all of you who tuned in to my live this morning. It was my first live, so we'll see. Not sure, you know, if that was my best live, but I guess it was my best live because it was my only live I've done. Uh, but thanks so much, you guys, for tuning into that. This is now going to be the finalized video of the unboxing, the review, as well as some styling and the resell on this. Oh, and yes, we're going to definitely talk about sizing and go through that comparison of the GS sizing and the adult sizing and how these shoes are actually extremely different. So you're going to want to stick around to see that portion of the video. But uh, I'm excited to get into this. This is one of the most hyped general releases that I've seen this year. I feel like most of you have actually let me know on my polls that I put out there on my community tab uh, that this is a shoe that you guys couldn't wait to see an unboxing for. So here we have it, the Carmine Sixes. This is a shoe that has not been released in this specific colorway since Oh my God, 2014, that's seven years. How insane is that? This is one of those colorways you just, you never know when Nike is going to re-release this. So it's like pretty much a blessing to have this colorway because this is by far one of the most fire coloring schemes that we have seen on the Air Jordan 6 silhouette. So let's get into this overview, guys. I was so stoked to be able to cop two of these pieces just specifically to be able to show you guys the differences between the GS as well as the adults. Obviously, I fit much better in the adult sizing, which is a 7.5 and this is a size seven so just so you guys know for the different sizing proportions this is only a half a size smaller than this size which by looking at it it actually looks extremely smaller and that's because i feel like nike most definitely cheaped out a bit on certain accents of this shoe as well as the shoe proportions of it uh, so let's go through, let's start with the comparison of these two shoes. So right here to my right is the GS shoe and to my left is the adult shoe. I want to start with the heel counter because this was the most noticeable area where I think Nike definitely cheaped out. Although you are paying less for this shoe, I do think that this is just a way better representation of the OG Carmines. Uh, but I do get it. 
Some of you can't fit into adult sizing and they don't release small enough for you to buy them in the adult silhouette. Uh, so you have to go with the GS sizing. Um, but if you do have the option to either choose from the GS sizing and the adult sizing, I would highly recommend going with the adult sizing. And I'm going to talk about why. So when you look at the back, can you see the embroidery on the back here? It is about half of the threading as you see on the adult sizing and they really skimmed out there. I feel like this almost doesn't even look like the Nike logo because the Nike is so thin in comparison to the adult size on here. Uh, so definitely one of the biggest flaws I see in the GS sizing. Then when we go here to where the ankle has that padding, you can also see that it's very different in shape almost. And the bulge is so much bigger Go on. Bulge. I know what you guys are thinking. No. This is so slight. It's just, it's not the same. I don't know. It doesn't even look the same. It's crazy. Like the shape is off in some sense. I don't know like why it's so different just because, you know, again, this is only half a size smaller than the shoe, but it just doesn't look like the original silhouette in my opinion. Uh, it almost, I feel like needs a bit more padding just to kind of make it look like it's adult partner. Uh, then when we get into the coloring scheme at the midsole and outsole here, where, you know, we have that OG icy finish. Um, it's very blue on the GS sizing. So I just want to show you like the adult sizing is actually clear. And this one is blue. It has a tint of blue in my opinion. So I'm not sure why the color is so off on the gray school versus the adult there, but it is. And then when you actually really look closely at the suede on the upper on the toe box there, as well as the suede underlays in the carmine color that you see on the medial and lateral sides of the shoe, you'll notice that the red is actually different. This is a deeper red. This signifies a carmine coloring scheme to me. This is so much lighter in comparison to this deep carmine red. It's much richer. This one, it almost looks like, you know, when you're using a Sharpie and your Sharpie is about to die and you're like, oh yeah, looks like it's dried up. It kind of looks like their machines dried up with the color when they were dying this suede. So definitely some, you know, big comparison differences. Also height wise, if you look at the height on the shoe, this is definitely higher. And again, this is only half a size smaller. This is a size seven. And if you look at the pull tab, look how much smaller that pull tab is there. It is tiny in comparison. And also the inner lining of the pull tab is different. This has kind of a texture to it, whereas this one is actually much smoother on the inside. Again, on the bottom, when we're looking at that outsole, you can see, look how blue the GS is in comparison to the adult. It's so blue, I'm not sure why they went with such a blue color tone. And then on the tongue here, you can see we've still got the great material and that kind of sparkly metallic-y carmine coloring scheme. Uh, this is obviously smaller than the adult sizing one and the tongues actually look identical. This is a bit smaller of a tongue. Um, this is a bit more wide. We've got just simple white laces on both. It looks like the lock lace system is exactly the same. No variation there. Uh, we've got that rubberized texture on the front of the tongue too with Jordan on there. And then we've got that perforation going on the sides on both for some breathability. And uh, definitely one of my favorite parts of the uh, six silhouette is this pull tab. Definitely useful when getting in and out of these shoes. Uh, then we've got some black accents throughout. We've got the black accents on the pull tab as well as the midsole. Looks like our air bubbles are quite similar. Again, it's just it's so blue. I can't get over how blue this is. 
And then for those of you who are snobs when it comes to boxes and you want to have that OG box, the boxes are different for gray school versus the adults. Um, so definitely adults are getting a much better packaging uh, versus the kids. But if you don't care about boxes, then hey, I mean, GS may work for you. Let's look at the insole here. So we've got black and white on the insole with Nike Air. And we've got that Carmine Jumpman on the bottom. Of course, he's going to be a lot smaller on this guy. All right. So there you have it. The Carmine Sixes. This is a beautiful coloring scheme. You guys are going to see in my styling section how much these shoes popped. So now let's get into sizing and talk about how these shoes fit. I definitely would say stick true to size. I do on occasion try and cop grade school if I'm not able to cop the sizing in adults. Uh, but with this shoe specifically, I just don't like the key differences in the grade school sizing versus the adult sizing. I think that this is just more true to that OG coloring scheme as well as the fit of the shoe. This is just a little bit off. Again, you guys probably have already heard about the issues going on with the coloring that the Carmine was looking a bit too pink. So they had to recall a lot of the shoes, which made this way more limited than any of us expected it to be. Um, specifically, you know, certain retailers didn't even launch this in adult sizing. So you didn't even have an option to play for anything but grade school sizing, which is unfortunate because I do think that the adult color is so much richer and so much more of a Carmine colorway. Uh, but hopefully, you know, maybe you'll get a deal and be able to find some of those knockoff pink Carmines at the outlet one day. We'll see what they do end up deciding to to do with those leftover shoes. I have no clue. Leave me a comment in uh, the box below if you guys got a Carmine that maybe has that off kind of pinkish tone or if you were to actually get one sent to you, would you keep it? Or would you say, no, nah, this isn't close enough. I feel like most of you would keep it. And I feel like if you saw a pink coloring scheme on these in the outlets, you would buy it too. Uh, but that's for sizing. And now we're going to get into the styling portion. So I had so much fun with these shoes. I just, I love the colorway on these because of this like suede kind of red carmine coloring scheme underlays. It just makes it pop. But the metallic in that carmine on the tongue is really what sets this shoe apart from so many. It's just so vibrant and it photographs so well. I mean, my God, this is a photogenic shoe. If I were to call this shoe a model, this would be it. Uh, but for the first look, I decided to wear an essential sweatsuit with my crew neck and sweatpants in a beige color tone. For some reason, I just, I love beige with red. I feel like it just made these shoes that standout piece and the red just really pops off of beige surprisingly. Um, so definitely gonna be rocking these with my beige essentials sweatsuit combo. I think that is a great color to go with these shoes. Maybe it wasn't something you may have thought of at first, but I would love for you guys to give me your opinions on how you think that beige coloring scheme goes with the Carmines. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. look I decided to wear some kind of light denim skinny jeans and I don't know light denim just seems to go very well I feel like with red it just helps it pop and then I pair that again with just that essentials crew neck underneath with my Montclair red jacket that red coat I mean it just I don't know to me personally that red matches the Carmines so well it's just this rich deep red tone 
I think if you can, you know, find the right red that really goes with these carmines, rock it because this really is a special coloring scheme. I think as far as the spectrum of red coloring goes, I feel like carmine is definitely one of my more preferred red tones. I do like deeper rustic reds. Uh, so that's why I'm so in love with this colorway. This is my dripping off the chin <laughs> And then uh, for the last and final look, I wore some baggier pants. It was a darker, deeper denim coloring scheme. And I wore that with my Alpha Industries plaid black and red jacket over top this Vogue Kith hoodie. And again, this Vogue Kith hoodie, actually why I love it so much with the Carmines is that it has that same metallic kind of sparkle to it, just like on the tongue. And I think it just actually matches it to a T. So I had to wear this paired with a shoe. And I love my Alpha Industries red and black plaid jacket. It is freezing today in New York. So definitely had to add that. Um, on, also, I forgot to mention I wore my Stussy Nike collab beanie. I flipped that around into the look. So definitely a great shoe to add some black accents to it as well in your wardrobe if you can. is just a great shoe in general. I don't think you can really go wrong with the Carmines in any which way, shape or form that you decide to style this. So let me know in the comment box below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you style these shoes? All right, now let's get into the conclusion of this video and talk about how these are doing on the resale market. All right, so let's talk about how much these shoes both retailed. So GS retailed for 140 and the adults retailed for $200. I get it, you know, you're trying to save a penny or two with the GS sizing if you can, but um, I will say that, you know, you are definitely gonna see the issues there uh, with that price point, and I get it. They definitely cheaped out in certain areas because, you know, it is a cheaper shoe. Uh, but as far as the resale goes for the GS sizing, it's 170 to 185 depending on what size you are and for the adults it is going from 290 to 330 and for a general release that's pretty high for resale on these so they are doing quite well and i do imagine them actually going up um, i think these were a lot more limited than people expected if they didn't know about the news of all the shoes that were being recalled and so a lot of stores like foot action and uh, stores in Canada that had canceled because the shoes were recalled um, definitely made an issue for these to become a more difficult shoe to cop. So you guys let me know if you were able to cop these um, down below and thank you so much for tuning in again to another one of my unboxings and reviews. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like pretty, pretty please. These likes mean the world to the channel as well as don't be shy and say hello even if you want to down below. Hit that notification bell too because we have so much coming out this week. For those of you who are my supreme peeps, we've got so much supreme heat coming out for you that I don't want you to miss out on as well as hit that join button, you guys. We've got so many membership perks, so you'll definitely wanna check that out as well as our merch store. We will catch you on the next video.